The fourth kind of question that comes up, now this has been asked in two different ways, is basically what makes a good HCI or what makes a poor HCI. So the focus of this question is that it's not aimed at a particular target audience, but instead the factors that all systems should really follow to make them intuitive, which is easy to learn. So you will need the factor and the example for two marks. If you have not got the factor, then you cannot get the marks. The factor is really, really, really important. If you just put a list of factors, then they'll give you one mark for a list. So in order to get, usually it's around a six mark question, you will need to have at least three factors and then three examples that match them. Things like consistency of signposting and pop-up information, that is a factor. So consistency of signposting and pop-up information would give you one mark because that is the factor. So we discussed about, you know, on Office, the layout of it looks very similar even when you go to different packages. So your example would be every next should be in the same place using the same icon, which would be one mark. Or navigation around the program should be clear and consistent and easy to follow. Intuitive. Intuitive is the keyword. Clear navigational structure would be one mark. All right, so as we said about the way things are lay out, laid out, it needs to be intuitive. It needs to be really easy for the user to learn. So if it is has got a clear navigational structure, it will make it very fast and easy to learn for people to you know, work their way around the system. The location of where the machine is to be used is another factor. All right, so we can give an example of a train station. Would you have a voice control user interface in a train station. You would not be able to use it effectively because it's just too loud. And the same, would you have a voice control user interface in a library? No, because you'd need to be quiet. Right, so where you, the machine is going to be used is very, very important depending on what kind of system it's going to need. All right, so you'd have things like touch screens in a museum or a factory or in a train station. You wouldn't have a mouse in a train station because it's more than likely that it would get damaged. Okay, so it would likely be a touchscreen. Then you've got house style and ethos, okay, which is one mark. Now, house style and ethos, I, we've done this through GCSE and in AS. Now, this is all about the, the look and the feel about the actual the user interface. Right, so the colour schemes, the language that's used, the font style, so that it can create some kind of brand for a company. Like McDonald's, they've got a brand. Nike, they've got a brand. Okay, And their brand and their colour schemes and the language they use is based on their target audience. So the house style and ethos is one mark. And that's so it conveys who the organisation is and that all the company documents look and feel the same. All right, would be a second mark. Specific point about colour blindness, talking about disability, All right? E.g. designed to avoid red green combination, blue yellow combinations, etc. We've got things like on screen help. We talked about that at the start with Office. There's always a help um, area in Office. On screen help is what you'd require rather than searching through paper manuals, and it would be a lot faster. Disabled access, one mark. So, e.g., if a person is blind, then a computer could use, be used to recognise voice input or a braille keyboard. So, you'll notice some of these answers are from questions above. Some of them do interlock. Expertise of the user and the ability of the user. And the difference between novice and expert users. One mark. An expert user will need shortcuts so that tasks can be done completed as quickly as possible, whereas a novice will need a number of steps to guide them. Customizable to suit the needs of the user, which would be one mark as a factor, and makes it more efficient if the user can change items to suit their work preferences. So that could be change the icons, remove the icons that you don't want on a desktop, you know, only have the things that you particularly need so that it's customizable. What you need is a quick access rather than then you have to go through uh, lots of different menus to go and get them. Layout appropriate to the task, one mark and large minimal text for children learning to read, one mark.